Greetings and welcome to Recipe Wednesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious meatloaf recipe. I feel like meatloaf is so divisive. There are some people who love it and there are others who hate it, but oh my goodness, this is, it's delicious, trust me. So we're starting with one onion chopped and I've got, you can't really see it, but here it is. Probably about two tablespoons of baking grease in the pan. I'm going to add some salt. I'm gonna cook these until they are soft because I hate crunchy onions. I cannot eat them. They will give me indigestion for hours. So this is over medium heat. I'm gonna cook this for however long that takes. It's been about 15 minutes. The onions look perfect. I'm gonna get them off the heat and let them cool for a few minutes while I get the rest of the ingredients together. Here I've got a pound and a half of ground beef you could go with two pounds or just a pound. All the ingredients would stay pretty much the same. So to that, I'm gonna add one egg. This is a half a teaspoon of smoked salt that my friend Aaron made for me. Uh, Aaron Kilby, I'll post a link to his videos down below. Um, I've also got a quarter teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of dried basil, and a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. I'm gonna throw in some ketchup. This is Primal Kitchen. I like this because it's, um, yeah, the ingredients are really simple and there is no sugar added. It's about two tablespoons. Throw in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, Worcester, Worcester, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> this is the brand I like for this. Um, the ingredients are pretty clean. Yeah, if you get regular Worcestershire sauce, they've got all kinds of ingredients. At least I can pronounce these. So it's like distilled white vinegar, molasses, sugar, water, salt, onions, anchovies, garlic, cloves, tamarind extract, natural flavorings. I don't know what that means, but, uh, and chili pepper extract. So anyway, that's that. Squirt of mustard. Try not to get it on myself as I open it. Ah, explosion. Excuse me natural. I only need a, about a teaspoon. That's probably a little bit more. Oh, what a mess. I don't ever really measure it, but it's about half a cup to a cup of cheddar. Let's split the difference and say three quarters cup. And now I'm going to add in the onions. It's funny. It's not onions. It was just one onion, but I can't help it. It's like because it's in pieces now, it's onions. It has become plural. And do some choppy chop. So before I get my hands in there, I'm gonna get my pan ready because I'm gonna, I wanna squish it all up and then shape the pieces. Okay, Blah. I hate this part. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna divide it into eight. And then I'm gonna shape it. Kind of easier to roll it up and then just flatten it out. There, mini meatloaf. Those look really good. You don't have to make them into eight. You can make them into six if you like. That's what I used to do, but it's just too much, so um, this is the right size now. Anyway, you're going to put these in a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes, and then I'll show you what the next step is. Oh, we doggies, that looks good. This step is optional, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the ketchup. I'm going to put a little bit on each on each of these and then like spread it around some, and then I'm going to throw it under the broiler um, because that, that's what I do.
This will probably take maybe two to three minutes under the broiler. Your broiler might be different than mine, um, but we'll see and I will let you know. <coughs> oh my word, smoked up my kitchen real nice. Anyway, <laughs> that took two minutes uh, under the broiler and it's not even these that we're getting like, you know, smoky. It's the fat stuff around the edges, which is gonna taste delicious, but you know, anyway. I'm gonna get this plated up and then we'll do some taste testing. As my kitchen clears the smoke out, time to taste test. Uh, actually, two of these is too much for me. I'm only having one, but for the sake of um, aesthetics, you know, two, I think looks a little better. So anyway, let's see. Notice uh, all the grease from the pan too. That does not go to waste. Mm. <laughs> wow, that is so good. I don't know if the smoked salt did anything special to it, but to me, this is like over the top. One of the best meatloafs I've ever made. No lie. Mm. Man, that's good. All right. That is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um... As the good book says, if you like, please subscribe.